Where is God? The Bible shows us we can have a relationship with Him. But how do I be with Him? Is He only at church? Is He only at that camp where I felt Him? Or could He be even easier to access than I ever thought? Simply, in secret. Hey, how's it going? My name is Isaac, and I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, I'm having a pretty good day. It's absolutely beautiful outside right now. Today, I just wanted to share with y'all a concept that has completely changed my life in so many different ways and has completely changed my walk and faith and everything like that. And that's the concept of the secret place. <laughs> y'all, let's be honest real quick. If I were to tell y'all that Jesus today would be at your local Walmart, you know, with a table set out front, you know, maybe doing a little book signing, you know, maybe signing the, the front page of your Bible. How many of y'all would instantly drop everything you're doing to go see him? And I mean, really Jesus, like, like, let's say that this actually would happen. No, no antichrist stuff or nothing like that. Like, what if Jesus himself was at your local Walmart and you knew that and you knew exactly when he was going to be there? Would you drop everything and go over there? I would, you know, I'd want to be with him. What if I told you that the Bible tells us exactly where God is right now, and you could go there and be with him right this second, you know? And that's that's going to be that verse that I just showed you a few minutes ago. Matthew 6, 6, you know, where Jesus himself is telling us where to go to be with the Father, where he is. And he sets up this concept of the Father being in secret. It says, but when you pray, go into your room and shut the door. And then pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Real quick, like, let this settle in your spirit. Like, really think, like, how big of a deal is it that we know where to go and how to be with God at any second, any time we want to be with Him? You know, think about how big of a deal that is. And y'all, I'm going to be honest. This was one of the most major missing pieces that I had when I grew up. You know, I grew up in the church. I would go to church events. I would go to church. You know, I would get fired up. Sometimes I would feel God. Sometimes I wouldn't. But, but you know, it never lasted long because when I went home, I just instantly went back to my old self. I instantly went back to my old lifestyle. And it never lasted because I didn't understand the concept of going and being with God. And where's he at? He's in secret. So let's break this down real quick, y'all. If the Bible says that that's where we go to spend time with God, that's where we go and He is, if I was not spending time in that place, I was not spending time with Him. And I like to explain it like this, you know? Say you have a best friend, right? You're so close. Y'all love the same things. Y'all always hang out all the time. Y'all always have amazing stuff to talk about. But say one week, you know, you just decide, I don't want to hang out with them anymore. You know, they're kind of lame. And say you just start ducking them and you stop hanging out with them. But, you know, maybe you still get to see him one time a week. Maybe, let's say Sunday morning, you know? Maybe you saw him an hour on uh, Sunday morning. Let me ask you this and like, think honestly. Would that be a good relationship? Like, would you have a good relationship with that person? Because one of the best ways to build a thriving relationship with someone is by quality time together. And during that quality time, that's when y'all can have good communication, get to know each other better and everything like that. Y'all, this is how to think about your relationship with God. You know, he wants to be our best friend. He wants to be our number one. He wants to be there in so many different situations. He wants to talk to us, comfort us. Think about this right now. God loves you. Like seriously, God actually loves you so much. And He loves you so much, He wants to spend so much time with you. You know, and I guarantee you that He even wants to spend more time with you than you want to spend time with Him. 
But I do understand y'all, you know, we've all heard God loves you, Jesus loves you so much. But you know, it doesn't really mean anything until you actually are able to experience it. And y'all, the testimony that I have over my life is that when I discovered this secret place, I experienced God's love. Because think about it, His presence shows up and you get to actually hear from Him. You get to actually feel Him understand what he's thinking about you and when i actually started to go and consistently be in a secret place that is the moment when i absolutely understood and came into agreement with the truth is that he actually loves me you know and it's such a surreal experience and if you've experienced it, you know what i mean it's like just being in his presence and while you're reading his word it just comes alive and there's something in you it's like you're not hearing it but you just have such a strong knowing that you didn't have before that god genuinely loves you that he genuinely cares for you and y'all being in the secret place is where i began to actually recognize the voice of god you know jesus says my sheep will hear my voice but think about it if you're never with that person how could you begin to recognize their voice you know think about if you barely knew a person and you went to a super crowded place and then you got them to call your name you would not be able to recognize them through all the noise through all the different voices but if you be actually knew that person if you actually spent time with them if you recognize what their voice talks like how they sound and then you're in that place you're in the business you're in the crowdedness but you hear their voice it just it pierces through just like a mother's voice just like a father's voice to a child so y'all i instantly fell in love with spending time with god spending time in the secret place and it began to change everything for me you know being with God in his presence absolutely started to bring so much transformation because God's presence brings transformation and it honestly blew my mind the way I saw me changing the way I saw me my thought process started to change the way I treated people started to change and I generally started to be more like Jesus and think about it if you're spending time with someone that's the only way you're going to be able to be influenced by them to be like them and if you think about it y'all that is the ultimate goal you know Every day, we as Christ followers, our goal is to be more and more like Christ. And that is exactly what the Bible says in Romans 8, 29, that God predestined us to conform to the image of His Son. So we all want to be more like Jesus, right? Of course. But like, think about it. Don't you have to actually spend time with that person to know what they're like? To be able to let them influence you so you can reproduce the kind of fruit they produce? Think about it. You know, think like say this. Say your father, right? Say he's a cook, he cooks all the time, every time you're in the kitchen and he's just whipping stuff up. You know, growing up with that in your life, you're gonna always watch that, you're always gonna be influenced by that. And there's a good chance, a good probability that when you go older, you're gonna grow up to be a good cook. You're gonna also follow that footsteps. In the same way, when you're spending time with God and you're being in his presence and, you're, and he's loving on you, he's giving you peace, he's giving you joy, he's doing all this stuff, think about it. You're going to be able to reproduce that same love, that same fruit, and do it towards others. Y'all, the secret place is just so important and it's so crucial in the life of a believer. And that's probably a huge reason why Jesus modeled that all throughout the Gospels. All the time, he was constantly going away and he would withdraw and he would go and be in secret. He would go and be alone. He would seclude himself and not just be alone, but he would actually be with the Father. And think about this, Jesus displayed the perfect will of the Father. Everything Jesus did was explain what we would be able to do with Him. He, he showed what it was like to have a relationship with God. He showed how to treat others, what we were able to do, you know. And He showed us all that. And that's why He said this, He said that you will do these same works I have done and greater works will you do because I am going to the Father. So Jesus wanted to display what we would be able to do with the Father. And he always showed this tendency to go and be away in secret. So there must be something important there. And I think one of the main reasons that he separated himself from all the people, all the busyness, was to really get away from all those distractions, y'all. There is so much going on in all of our lives. There's always something to, be, to, to make yourself busy. There's always something that you could be doing. And so sometimes it's so important just to separate yourself from that and to go be in stillness and in quiet and simply be with God. Because a lot of times in the busyness of our lives, we could just be so caught up in all of it that we miss out on spending that intimate time with the Father. 
because think about it at this time in his ministry jesus was blowing up you know everyone in that region was knowing about about him they were all going to him for healings to get demons casted out they were all going to him and so but he always i think it's huge that he showed that he prioritized time with the father over all of it you know are we doing that same thing because so many things are competing for your time Think about the world we live in right now. Think about how many things consume our time. We even have a whole entire industry designed around entertainment to just simply make money off of consuming our time. You know, the more we indulge, the more we watch that new show, the more we go to that movie. It, they make money, they make a profit, and they get our time at the same time. So we're constantly doing stuff, whether that's work, whether that's time with family, friends, maybe that's sports, whatever. There's a lot of stuff going on all the time and so you know we get to choose we have free will we get to do what we want for our life we get to choose how to evenly like distribute our time but what i've noticed which is kind of crazy especially in the american church christians put god at the bottom of that list you know give him the le the least amount of time which is honestly crazy because god literally is the most important thing to exist y'all when i found out about the secret place and i started to go there in the beginning of my faith and just really spend time with him man i fell in love with the experiences alone in my room i'd be having the most surreal crazy supernatural experiences things that like you would not even believe unless you experienced it and y'all if y'all experience the same things that i've experienced and i know some of you have but some of you haven't and that's okay and so that's why i'm making this video to encourage you to dig in because this time with god you can actually have real intimacy with god and he actually shows up and when you actually experience it you're gonna easily put those distractions aside you're gonna easily get off the tiktok stop consuming your time in the movies and all this stuff and you're actually gonna be like whoa like this is so good why why would i want to do more of this you know so to end this video off, let's just get really practical, y'all. You know, I t I've informed you about the secret place and that we can actually be of God. And that's crazy. That's huge. But you might be thinking like, okay, what do I actually do? Like when I, like say I go be alone, what do I do once I'm there? To sum it all up, you're basically simply just spending time with him. Whether that's sitting there in quiet, whether that's you talking to him, because prayer is just talking to him, communication. Maybe you're reading your Bible, singing, worshiping whatever there's so much stuff you can do it's simply just being with him just really lock into the fact that he's actually there you know whether you feel him or not at first as a younger believer i used to think that i had to do all this legalistic stuff to try to like get god's attention you know i would pray a bunch i would get on my knees crying you know like i was like really like desperate for something i already had you know I want y'all to think back to that verse, Matthew 6.6. 6. Jesus didn't say that God would show up in that place. He said the Father is already in the secret place. So y'all, God is already there whether you feel Him or not. But I encourage you, or I just want to encourage you with this. If you actually dig in, you are going to feel something, you know, whether that's instantly or whether you got to like really push through something you may be dealing with. But like, He's actually there, y'all. And once you actually experience it, man, you're going to have an increase of faith. But sometimes you got to have faith even before you experience some of these things. You know, sometimes God is seen like, do you really believe? Do you really believe I'm with you? Do you really believe my presence is near you? But yeah, y'all, just make time for God. You know, if we logically think about this, about this all, what we're doing on the earth, how quick this life goes by, it vapors like smoke. He is the most important thing. You know, he is what matters. So I want to ask you this, because I feel led to ask somebody all this. Are you storing treasure up on earth, or are you storing up treasure in heaven? Like, what are you putting your investment to? Are you putting your investment into things that are so temporary? Or are you putting your investment into God's kingdom, which is eternal? Some of y'all need to prioritize God over all of it. And I know there's been times, there's been seasons where my priorities have gotten messed up. And so I'm not innocent either, you know. But y'all, putting God in that number one spot has changed everything for me. Radically. And he wants to change everything for you. A lot of you may be dealing with hard times. You may be struggling with something. Maybe depression, anxiety. An addiction. 
just felt led to say this. Spending time with God is a solution to a majority of these problems you're dealing with. That's why Jesus said, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all will be added. All will be added. That includes your mental health, your financial problem, that relationship that's gone bad. All of it will be restored. All of it will be fixed. But it's simply, uh, y'all, there's just something about him having that number one spot and just being obedient and submission to God and just loving him as he first loved you. It changes everything. That is the truth, and I testify to that. So let me pray over you right now. Before I pray, I believe there's two people watching this video. I believe there's people who have never experienced this intimacy that I'm describing with God. And I believe that you may not be all in of God yet. You may have not put aside that, that sinful habit or put aside that thing that you know has nothing for you. But God is saying right now, I want you to go all in. I want you to be 100% for me. And I will, I will change everything for you. And I will give you the fulfillment that you're looking for. The fulfillment that you're searching for in these other things. God is saying to you right now that it's in me. The other person that I, I believe is watching this video is a believer who maybe you're looking at your life and this video made you think like, man, I'm not spending as much time with God as I once have or, or I want to spend more time with God. I believe God is speaking to you right now. Return to your first love. Return to your first love. Fall back in love with God. Fall back, repent, and turn back to Him. And he will, He's there waiting with open arms, eagerly waiting for you to go be with Him right now after you click off this video. You can leave right now if you want to. But go be with Him because He loves you and He's calling you right now. He's calling you right now. I know you feel it. I know you hear it. Listen to him. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you for, for this person watching this video right now. Lord. You see exactly what they're going through, Lord. And Lord, you've, you've shown me exactly what you, the message you wanted to get across today, Lord. Lord, for the person who doesn't 100% believe in you yet, or maybe hasn't 100% gone all in, Lord. I just pray you encounter them right now, Lord. I pray that you touch them and begin to show up in their life. Begin to give them signs. Begin to give them patterns where they realize, man, God is real and He wants me. He wants to spend time with me. Lord, I pray that everyone that's watching this video right now receives a fresh revelation of your love for them, that you truly love them so much. Let them see a fresh revelation of what you did on the cross, Jesus. You've set us free. You've paid a price for us that no one else could pay. And now you're worthy, Lord. So, Lord, touch them and encounter them, Lord. And, Lord, I pray for the believer, Lord, who may be backslidden, who may be having their, prioritize, their priorities messed up in any way, Lord. Lord, I just pray that you be with them, Lord. Draw them near to you, Lord. I pray that they understand your nearness, and I pray that you just comfort them, Lord. Whatever they're going through in their life, Lord, I just pray that they seek you first, Lord. We're talking about just seeking you first, spending time with you, prioritizing intimacy with you. And Lord, you'll change everything. You'll restore, you'll heal, you'll fix. So Lord, everyone watching this video right now, I just pray for a fresh outpouring of your spirit, Lord, a, a fresh outpouring of a hunger and a fire to pursue you, Lord, like you're the only thing that matters, Lord, because in reality, you are the main thing that matters, Lord. So Lord, give them that hunger, give them that fire, Lord, and just be with them. Guide them, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Um, I pray that God spoke to you in any way. I pray that this encouraged you. I pray that this edified you and built you up in any way. If you learned something new, I'm grateful. If this is reminding you of things you need to be working on, I really, I really pray that you step into the things that you know God's calling you to step into. Just the intimacy with Him. So that's going to be it, y'all. Thank you for watching. My name is Isaac. This is Open Chair Ministry. Jesus loves you so much. Faith in Him is the only way to go to heaven. He is the only way. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. So turn to Him today. Repent from the old lifestyle. Change your mind about the way you see sin, the way you see the world. And God will change everything for you. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Um, 
check back in on the channel another time. I'm going to try to put out some more videos. But God bless y'all. Y'all take care.